this demonstration, we're going to show you the difference between the specific heat of a metal, iron, and the specific heat of water. You take 100 milliliters of water and you pour it into a cup. And we're going to take the temperature of this water. So to set that to the side for the moment. And then we also have a container of water, hot water on a pot on a hot plate. And we're going to take the temperature of this water. And we're also going to take three metal, like a tea bags, but all from iron washers. And go ahead and put it in there also. And then we're going to read off the scale. Okay, not the bottom of the pot, but right in the middle of the water. And this temperature now says 90 degrees C. So we kind of make sure that the switch around, make sure that there's the metal is about the same temperature as the water. And now we have the water. This water is at 18 degrees Celsius. So we're taking very hot metal and putting it into room temperature water and see what happens. What is your hypothesis? Is it going to be the water and the metal going to change equally in temperature? Because in here we have 100 milliliters of water, which is 100 grams, and we have three sets of washers at 30, about 33, 33, and 33 grams. That's about 100 grams of metal that are hot. 100 grams of water, which is cool. Is the temperature going to be close to 18 or close to the temperature we have here? So the temperature now of the water is it's coming down a little bit, but it's now at 80 degrees Celsius. So assuming that the metal is at 80 degrees Celsius, we take it and quickly dip it into the water here. And we watch the water rise. So we do like, a, like tea bags, just kind of get the heat out of the metal and get it uniform with the water. That doesn't take long because metal is a good conductor of heat and will release the heat to the water. But the water tends to absorb lots of energy. It has a very high specific heat and is slow to heat up uh, with the amount of energy. And the temperature now is at 26 degrees. So it's risen from 18 degrees to 26 degrees, which is an 8 degree rise, whereas the metal went from about, uh, about 82, 83 degrees on down to 26 degrees, which is close to almost a 60 degree decrease. So 60 degree change in the metal versus a 8 degree, and that's about a 1 to 8 ratio in temperature changes, showing the specific heats of metal versus the specific heat of water is about 1 to 8. Water is actually about uh, 4,186 joules for every kilogram K, versus metal, this iron metal is about 449 joules for every kilogram K. In conclusion, the specific heat of metal versus the specific heat of water, water has a very high specific heat, and metal has a much lower specific heat. In this experiment, we have specific heat, and we're testing out if the energy of iron is equal to the energy of the water in the transfer. We're going to use the equation for specific heat. The joules of energy for heat is equal to the specific heat of the substance times the mass of the substance times the temperature change of the substance. Energy is in joules. Specific heat is in joules per kilogram Kelvin and then the mass is in kilograms and the change in temperature can be in either K or degree C since we know that a K in size is equal to a degree C. We have metal washers in a series tied together and actually there's three of these for a total of 100 grams which equals 0.1 zero kilograms. This is going to be our mass that we use and we know that the specific heat of iron is 449 joules for every kilogram of iron raised one Kelvin or degree C. We also know that the change in temperature of the iron in this experiment was approximately 54 degrees C. 
Now for the water, which is in this cup, and we have some water, and we have in here H2O, and that is 100 milliliters, which is also equal to 100 grams, which is equal to 0 0.10 kilograms of mass again, and the specific heat of water is equal to 4,186 joules for every kilogram raised one Kelvin. And we know that the change of temperature is equal to approximately about eight degrees Celsius in this experiment. So are these two energies the same? Was the energy released by the iron equal to the energy gained by the water? So it looks at the energy for the iron. We we'll use the equation, if I just put it up here, is that energy equals Cm delta T. And so we have a specific heat of iron, 449 joules for every kilogram Kelvin times the 0 0.10 kilograms times the 54 Kelvin, which is the same as 54K, and that's equal to approximately uh, 2300 joules of energy that was lost by the iron. Now the energy of the water is going to be calculated by going with specific heat of water, 4180 86 joules required to raise one kilogram of water, one Kelvin, times again the same approximate quantity of mass, 0.1 kilograms, times the 8 Kelvin or 8 degrees C, and this one is going to be in approximately 3,300 joules. In this case, the energy is moving from the iron to the water, and we see we did not get exactly what we are expecting, but sometimes happens in experiments because the hypothesis was that the energy of the iron transfer or lost is going to be greater than the energy gained by the water because there's always loss of heat to the environment. So we found that the the energies are uh, in the same ballpark. But not quite what we expected.